Sometimes when I'm experimenting with techniques, things don't go as planned. The thing is that I love experimenting with new ideas as I get bored of doing the same thing over and over again. I just want to try techniques that will literally blow my mind. Is that so hard to ask? So when Artistro approached me to try their acrylic paint products, I thought of the perfect techniques to try out. And let me just say that I was blown away by their results. More than once. But it came at a high price, as things don't always go as planned. I will be working today with my gel plate. I've been wanting to do magazine transfers on a gel plate for a long time. But every time I tried, I wasn't successful. Today I'm determined. I apply the acrylic black paint to the plate and then lay my first magazine image face down. When I lift it up though, the image barely transfers. I know that certain magazines transfer better than others because of the ink. So I had to continue trying as I was determined to succeed. I try again with a different magazine image and it works better. But in this case, I think I didn't put enough black paint. However, I don't give up easily. And I try one more time. I put the black paint, placed a magazine, and this time it works. I'm ecstatic, but I know this could still fail when I pull the final print at the end. But for now, I let the happiness sink in and let black paint dry because I want to add color to the scenery. In the meantime, I use a second gel plate to create a new transfer. If you don't have magazines available, you can create the same effect with a printed image from the internet. I downloaded this image of a blue heron. It is important that you print it on a laser printer for it to work. I actually ran it twice through the printer so the ink would be darker. Then I follow the same steps as before. I roll black acrylic paint on the background and press the paper onto the paint face down. I lift it up and the bird illustration transfers perfectly. While I let this image dry, I bring the horse image back. Now let me explain what happened here. My recording froze and all the painting I had done in the background did not film. Sometimes this happens, of course, in this video. And since I can't recreate the scenery as I only had one magazine image like this one, I'm just going to show you how I blend the colors together with a second layer. I use yellow, orange, and purple to create a beautiful sunset sky using a sponge to dab the colors and blend them into the background. Being very careful not to cover the transfer image. I use the green color to create a grassy background underneath the horse. I have to say that the Artistro paints are the perfect consistency to apply on my gel plate. They're not too watery or too heavy. They're just right. It also comes with stickers for the lids. And what I loved about the stickers is that they each have an inspirational word written on them. So every time you pick up a color, there is an encouraging message right on the tube. I know you see some black lines here on the edges. Those were added after blending the first layer of color when my recording stopped. I really wanted to think of an out of the box idea, something that I had never seen before. It occurred to me that I could paint with acrylic markers on my gel plate. This might have been done before, but I have never seen it. So I take Artistro acrylic paint markers and using the black marker, I paint lines around the plate. Let me just say that I fell in love with this product and wait till you see how I use them with the heron. I also add some script stenciling with the black paint around the edges of my background. The acrylic markers dry pretty quickly, so I brayer a thin coat of white acrylic paint to the background and press my white paper onto it. And then you do the most important thing. You wait. Don't touch it. Don't peek or lift the corner. Just set aside and let it carefully dry. I waited a few hours just to make sure. In the meantime, I take my bird image and using the acrylic paint markers, I add colorful markings on the bird's feathers using blue, silver, and gold. The markers glide so easily on the gel plate and help me create depth and color on the bird. I thought that if we can use acrylic paint on a gel plate, 
then acrylic markers should work as well. I've used many brands of acrylic markers over the years, but this one is by far the best one I've ever used. The markers can be used on any surface, glass, wood, metal, rock, ceramics, and in my case, my gel plate. The paint flows so smoothly out of the marker. I don't have to strain like I've had to do with other brands. I also use the green marker to add some reeds at the bottom of the scenery. And since this image has a lot of empty space in the background, I take my kaleidoscope stencil and dab black paint through some of the triangles near the edges to create interest and movement toward the image. And outline the triangles with the same colored markers for added interest. I was so happy that this technique worked because the results at the end were truly amazing, as you will soon see. Once the paint markings are dry, I squirt both blue and white onto the plate as I want a light blue color in the background. I roll a thin coat with my brayer, place the white paper, which is 100 pounds Nina Exact White, and set aside to fully dry like before. Now it's the moment of truth because you could follow all these steps to the T and it could still fail. I pull the horse background first and I'm in love with it. The distressed edges are amazing. I even take a yellow acrylic marker and add a little sunshine glare around the silhouette so it looks as if the girl is glowing under the sun. I'm going to frame it and give it as a gift to my daughter as she loves horseback riding. Before I show you the bird print, I just want you to understand that experimenting with new techniques can have its ups and downs, as sometimes we fail. But it's those failures that are so critical to our growth as artists, as they are the stepping stones of our creative journey. Then I release the bird print from the plate, and I feel even happier because the technique works. The details on the feathers look amazing, and even the blue background had some amazing water-like texture. And that happened totally by accident. And if you want to continue experimenting, I have three unique techniques for you in this video right here. I will be showing you how to use common household items like Vaseline or candles to create amazing projects with acrylic paints. 